Whoa. You dead? More or less. Too bad Fliss is so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like they can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is, like, way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact, too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You? Are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Freshening your cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. Pass. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Sorry, I overstepped my bounds. Never mind. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Weather looks clear. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. What do you know about this wreck? Just rumors and theories. I got tired of the speculation and wanted to see if there was actually anything there. What got you into World War II? Just stuff I read about in school. Then I found out my grandpa was in the Navy, got lots of medals. I wanted to understand what he'd been through. Got me hooked. You can actually use all those old World War II stories to help them find the sites? Yeah. You know, when they started wreck diving, I realized I could be a pretty good resource. I knew a lot about where, where planes would go, shipping routes. You make a lot of connections. Alex and Julia have done a lot of dives, but I gotta say, finding this plane takes the cake. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later.
Duke to Alex. Duke to Julia. Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. Hey there, how's it hanging? You can monitor the dive while I do some boat maintenance. Not a problem, Bob. I'm serious. You can't fuck around with this stuff, Conrad. Do it for real or don't do it. Yeah, totally. I got you. Serious. Yeah, sure. Enjoy your vacation. Watch me. Weather looks clear. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really? On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. Dangerous. Uh, ladies first? Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we did it. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time not exploring. Go, go, go. down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this.
Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Good God. something. Wow. What the hell happened here? A little look at things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> oh, Julia! Oh my God! Just don't touch anything else, please. <sighs> He's holding something. Leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord.
You do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that? I know what I'm doing, okay? I don't need a lifeguard. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a U.S. base. They were on their way to help out a ship. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia. Will you marry me? I... I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, I... I just... Oh, it's, it's bad timing, I, I know. Well, it's terrible timing. I, I'm sorry. It, this is so no, stupid. No, no, stop. I'm sorry. Please, don't. Don't apologize. I, I just need time to think about this. Like, you know, like when I'm not about to die at the bottom of the ocean? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there! Wait, we have to decompress! Damn it. Yeah, okay. Decompress, right. God, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Okay, now. Go, go! Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. Oh, nothing. Your brother just took it upon himself to blow up my grill. Conrad, what is wrong with you? So, why are you paying the ocean? A group of fishermen came by and damaged their boat. Well, they got caught on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. So then uh, Ambassador Conrad figured the best move is to show him he'd rather throw away his money than give it to them. You're an asshole. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Unfortunately, we did not leave it as pristine as we could have. What? Why? The dive line, actually. How bad? Uh, there's no cockpit anymore, for starters. God. Well, that's just fucking perfect. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life. <sighs> if only she felt the same. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn, 
She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. How well preserved was the plane? Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. <laughs> no shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? Yeah, well, just one shark. Ah. Hey, one was enough. Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Can I ask you why you said no? Alex, I'm sorry. I, I wasn't thinking straight. You weren't? Julia, what does that mean? I know I should have a better answer for you, but that's just how I feel. Julia, I don't know what that means. I, I was freaked out by the plane, okay? I fucked up. I should have said yes. I wish I would have said yes. Just, can you ask me again? Another time, please? A do-over? <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I love you, Alex. You know that, right? Of course. I love you, too. Uh, where's everybody else? I'll go get them. Why don't you just chill out here? Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh, you know, where the magic happens? On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. Nah, I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. So, does the accident mean we can't do any more diving? Let me just say this once more for the record. Going into that plane was super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever. Or else we're gonna this is so it. awesome. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you and we'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find you. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Right here. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> I 
You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and insists her parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? Okay, fine, then it was a meat hook. They were slashed with a meat hook and hung from the rafters. Wait a minute, are you changing the murder weapon? I thought this was a true story. There's a lot of blood, a lot of carnage. Who's to say how it was done? Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Yeah, marriage is a bitch, huh? So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he sliced out his own insides with a meat hook. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, old. Super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? 
the internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddy. And I'm out. Any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
what they want to do with us. C'est mon bateau 
Stop Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule Olsen Come here Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up. You know what I like to hear? Nothing. That's right. Nada. Complete fucking silence. Get it? I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. You're all in this together. This was a trap and you set us there up. Yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Do you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Do we read you? Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance, not used to a little weather freaking you out. <laughs> yeah, uh, okay. A-OK -okay out here, we can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info, we'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Down there, he could drown. We 
We need to get him out of there. He's not safe. Brad, buddy, come out! Move. 